doing the silent countdown. I'm like, hang on, he stop talking. Of course How do I know when it's zero? Of course, man. Bring in a level of professionalism we're not used this year. That's the problem. I lost count after one. It's, I'm it's sorry, I, didn't give it the, I didn't give it the Elvis point. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, guys. So, welcome to the War Boss Show. Um, back to our old format. Format? Oh, my God, I can't even speak. Um... We're not live. <laughs> this is pre-recorded. No. Well, haven't died. Believe it or not. <laughs> <Haven't>... <laughs> this is we the are... bit that stays in. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Behold, <laughs> content with so <some> method. <laughs> you want to see the shit they cut out. <laughs> um, so we are here. Myself, Six Plus Stevo. We've got Sydney, the drunken orc. Hello. We've got Dim, the hobby git. I can drink this time because we we're editing. Essex boys. <laughs> we got Scar from Plastic Crack Gaming. What's the crack? And we got your old pal Dreadwar from Dreadwar Gaming. Oh. And uh, this is an exciting video because we're doing the character build off competition. For those of you that don't know what it is, we each had a challenge of kit bashing a character. It could be any character at all. Um, just a simple kit bash conversion job, and then we're going to show them off on here how we did them. The finished article, you guys get to vote after this video. We're going to put a vote in the Facebook group, so get on over there, link down below, go and vote for which one's your favorite. And uh, the winner will be uh, they just get golden well, privileges, really. Me, dread. Yes. <laughs> it's probably not going to be just be Sid or Clint again. No, well, well, let's have a look. Now, for the order, we're going to go random. So, all who, six just before bosses. you do that, Sid, Sid, just before you do that, sorry to interrupt. Sorry, but who won the last one? Well, I can tell you, it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> I'll give you a guess because it was probably oh, fucking that was, Sid. That was me. Ah, and who won the one before that? So, the last one was the um the battle, battle wagon, wagon. build off. And then the one before that, we did a squig buggy build off. And who won that mm -hmm. one, Sid? Sid. I'll just Sid. check your medals. Sid. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, are we, are yeah. we expecting a trilogy? No. We're yeah, not allowed to this anymore. Go no, 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 not with this. It's, it's not grand enough. <laughs> I used to go an old kid. Well, as two time champion, Sid, I'll, I'll stand aside and let you do say what you were about to say. Right. No, no, thank you very much, sir. So we've got a little list here. Yeah. We've got all six of the war bosses uh, written down. They're real names and everything. They ain't nicking them. And a the dice. You're going to have to trust us on this, so. Yeah. Hammer it down. <laughs> is that a casino regulation dice you're using? Then? It is. and It's, it's not a squig dice, is it? It's, it's not, not a dread dice. It would still be rolling around if it was. <laughs> yeah. I've rolled. Not one of the purple <laughs> dice, is it? <laughs> Number two, which is Clint. Hey! I thought I said something rude there for a second. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you write it. It's tomato, way. tomato. <laughs> it's the way I write it too. <laughs> no, the that's the time I've written Clint on a bit of paper and you guys have gone, who's, who's cunt? <laughs> you just got to write top in front of it. <laughs> right then. So should we get straight into Clint's vid? <laughs> Straight into the cunt. Let's go. Let's go. I tell you what. No, I ain't never, about I've never seen five, five people paying more avid attention to a video. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're doing Clint's first.
this is probably one of my very first old conversion stroke kit bashes. My big mech with custom force field on bike. And for my force for the war bosses, I just want to tart him up a bit. So I'm thinking I like from here back. I like the trailer, I like the tracks. Love this. I do with a bit of tweaking. I just want to knock that custom uh, force field, the KFF, back a little bit so it's sitting up a bit more, or maybe even leaning back at a slightly better angle backwards. But the front part, the def copter hub there with the handlebars, I'm just not happy. And the mech is too small because I want it to be a big mech. So I'm going to lop off the front, I think, and that is what I'm making here, the forks. So the idea is then to have the bigger forks, maybe try and angle the tracks so they're down, so the whole bike can just sit up just a little bit more, but the tracks are level, um, not so. And then just slightly bigger forks, take off the what would have counted as the power claw there. I might still use that, I don't know yet. Jig it about a bit. But yeah, just sort of angle that down a bit. Bigger forks, bigger mech, and I found this head, which I think, I know it looks a bit like a dox head, doesn't it? But, I don't know, got a kind of mad mechy feel to it. So I might, might, I don't know yet, not 100% sure on that. I might run the geezer with that. But I need some big, chonky arms. Um... So I might have to go ogre arms, ogre upper torso, possibly, with that head. Could work, couldn't it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, maybe bare-chested. Maybe I'll get rid of the saggy tits a bit, bit of arm around him or something. I don't know. But yeah, I've that's... nipples. Kind of, really <laughs> you leave their nipples alone. Either. That's really not a bit of me, that. <laughs> um, yeah, so the boots would have to come off and we'll get some decent feet on him. But yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look and see. So first up was to sort the forks. Any proper mech would be riding a proper chopper. So a nice big set of front forks would be perfect. I found this bit from the Kill Team Terrain set. And I thought they'd make a really good set of forks. So I started with a bit of chopping and hacking. So I nicked the front wheel from this transit van set from Italiari. After all, Big Bit Mill is a working class mech. And you don't get much more working class than white van man, do you? So I glued the hub to a bit of plastic card. And then realised that the forks didn't have enough travel to fit the springs which I made from jewellery maker's soft wire. So I then set about hacking up the forks to extend the cylinder bit, you know, the piston bit in it, to make them a bit longer, to incorporate the springs. All the best mod cons in Mel's workshop. Look how dull that blade is. <laughs> also flip both of the forks upside down, so the piston bit was at the top rather than the bottom. And again, look at the recoil on that. Uh, Steve, I flinch it every time. You can see it all coming together. <laughs> Much longer travel on the forks there, so I'll be able to fit them springs in nicely now. Once the glue had gone off and they'd all set up nice and firm, I then wrapped the jewellery maker's wire round and round to make a sort of spring. With the forks done, I then needed some handlebars, and this truck axle would make a perfect set of dropped kind of ape hanger style handlebars. So I chopped them up a bit yeah. and then fitted them on. We're in there. Here we go. Get in there. And as if by magic, what a power of editing, if I'm totally honest, more like my inability to press the record button whilst doing anything, the front end has a proper orky cut and shut job. Old forks and front end off, new one glued in place. At this point, I honestly couldn't be asked faffing around to try and get a leg sorted. So then had the proper orky mech mad idea of giving him some killer can legs. What well, orky biker mech wouldn't want a set of massive robot legs after all. So I drilled a hole straight through, roughly where I thought his hips would be, and inserted, ooh, uh, 
a bit of styrene rod to mount the legs to either side. Then I chopped up the left leg so I could extend the piston so his foot could be on the floor to give him that kind of hell's angel, fat boy, casual, me and my machine look. Then replaced the two small outer pistons with some thinner styrene rod with a lot of sticking and repositioning, got the left leg finally in place. Fitted a footrest from the new Umi Guards field artillery kit and rested the right foot on it, bending the toe cap over a bit, just so it sort of looked like he was gripping onto it. Yeah, positioning and everything. So with the feet and legs all now sorted, it was time to work on the janky head neck joint. Here, the head's just held into position with some blue tack, but I green stuffed it in place, but I had to cover the joint, so I decided to make a kind of dog collar for him. Little dog collar, using some of that Vallejo plastic putty, just waiting for the putty to go off, and I think that looks like a decent spike That's collar so to go around nice. the back of his neck to fill in that janky gap. So I cut a piece of styrene rod and clipped it over a longer piece of the same rod, then added the plastic putty, pulling away quickly to create the spikes. A bit like icing a cake, really. It was just then that I had a thought. This mech is going to need a way to warn all them other green skin gits to get out of his way. And what better way to warn someone to get out of your way than with a comedy clown horn? <laughs> Mounted a tall chest to the front, looted from the same Umi Guard field artillery kit as the footrest, idea. and a headlamp and a screen too. And that was pretty much the build done. Time to do some basing. Some barrels, corrugated plastic card, fuel cans, bullets, wheels, and general mech yard detritus were all glued to the base. And then I slopped on some Vallejo Dark Earth texture paint. Then it was time for a quick test fit of the trailer. All seemed to be in order. So then it was time to prime. Matt Black, this time from Halfords. Great. want to get that mortar looked at. <laughs> <laughs> with the model all primed, matte black, I dry brushed it with lead belcher all over on the actual bike, then set about painting the base, using some weathering powders, some rust pigment, and just all general contrast paints over the metallics. It gave it a really nice effect, I think. To be honest, you can't really see much of the base when the bike's on it anyway. Then it was, well, what I thought was the last bit of mecking, a huge banner pole to show who's the biggest mech in this here speed war. I did this whilst on the war boss's live hobby and chat stream. A nice orky skull glyph and huge spanner, all mecked out of plastic yard. With the banner done, it was then just trying to paint. A few hazard stripes, Avalanche Sunset with Seraphine Sepia for me yellow, as I always do, and that was it. That's what I thought anyway, apart from the glaringly obvious omission of any DACA. I forgot to make the DACA guns. So I got to work with that real quick and I made them out of some Umi mech boy guns. I can't remember where they were from now. Who cares? They shoot the bullets all the same. <laughs> Amen, brother. So that's it. With the addition of the DACA guns, so at least he can bloody shoot now. That's my entry to the War Boss character build challenge done. And I now have a new big mech on bike with custom force field and power claw to lead my speed wire all the way to the meet up. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love it's like he, he's done the, the editing and the video and it's like but this is clearly a, a video straight for the channel as well i'm like crap yeah of course oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking right mate <laughs> yeah, man. Tidy, man. i've been uploaded for like four and a half months <laughs> <laughs> Go get me somewhere. <laughs> well done mate that, that's quality that's fast i like it yeah. quality yeah thanks so really, really much was... for watching yeah, <laughs> <laughs> vote, for, vote for Essex. You'd be the only one. Thank, the... thank you very much, random random number cube, for giving us all something impossible to follow. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> um... Sid, uh, how confident are you feeling of that trilogy? Oh, hmm. I wasn't from the start. I've been seeing progresses and just going, yeah. Uh, well, never mind. <laughs> We just take a moment no. to say how awesome the uh, music is on yeah, the Essex Boys that. videos as well. I'm just, yeah. just got tapping away. Whenever I make a them. shout out for that, that music was done by John at Earhawks Minis. He he put that together for me, oh, and his amazing. mate did live. Yeah. He did live cool, guitars yeah. for that. It's yeah. quality. It's cracking. Yeah. He's he's a great bloke. Proper, he also did yeah. the uh, the music for the Twelve Days of Orkness as well. Yeah, just yeah, he's top amazing. Bloke. In nice. like in, in a ridiculously short amount of time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He knocked that up in like two days. It was unbelievable. Yeah, he's very. He's got a really small workspace as well, isn't he? Like he works within Tiny, a really small yeah. confined space as well. So yeah, yeah, he does really well. Lives in Taiwan. Yeah. 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 Right, space is very limited. So hang on, do you mean your music is made in Taiwan? Is <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Well, his character certainly wasn't, and. Uh... Well, I think I speak there for all of us and everyone watching when I was just so yeah, it's fucking awesome, mate. My favourite part of it is the posing that you did where he's got the foot down sort of on the side look at I yeah, it just looks so badass. It's so cool. Yeah. How great is it to see some actual mechanical legs on a Big Mac? Because that looks that actually looks really good. It's much oh, better than some it. shitty fucking... It does, it does, it it does look really good. That's not what this video is about. You can fuck off with that shit. Not this time. Let's what the ball down? down. What the get maudlin. <laughs> you get maudlin. Yeah. Anyone else want to say something lit. really nice about but Essex in, in seriousness, <laughs> I, I know, I know it's, it's just pointing out like little bits that I love, but it's just like the, the old tracks from the track kit and the scorcher kit and the old wheels from the track kit and the scorcher kit. Um, it, it just yeah. they still they they still work. They still look good. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and um, you just need to do a little bit of work. And again, I still think Max Benny does the best. Um, third party orc heads. It was a nice orc head that I yeah. couldn't yeah. even yeah. see it until it was. It's painted. a it's from a cyborg set, and all of the cyborg ones yeah, look it's fucking really good fantastic. Kit, yeah. There's mm, like yeah. six of them, I think, and they're amazing. One yeah, of they're them, all quite large. But, yeah. yeah, the the the, the biggest one is going. But but again, like this is not a Max Mini advert, Dim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go, you know. <laughs> Put down the bottle. <laughs> Link to oh, Max Mini like, in the description below. Roll the dice. Like, as well, idea. Clint, I'd like to thank you for not showing the moment where you removed the front of that uh, the original <laughs> model because I still have cold sweats. I wake up in cold sweats. Yeah, to be fair, the front of the truck off on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it went much the same way, to be honest. It's it's the start of that video. Way. I'm take this off. <laughs> I'm <watching> it like... <laughs> yeah, no, the amount of people yeah. are going to think the start of your video is, oh, he's just showing it straight away. We're not going to see the journey. It's just that's it. Because, I mean, to be <laughs> fair, that's where he started. Fact, what you showed at the beginning was a contender. Yeah, probably yeah. a winner. Uh... <laughs> it just didn't. He just didn't have enough hench for me. That's what I wanted. I wanted him to be like You've improved the boss. on an already awesome yeah. looking conversion. Yeah. Them, them yeah. ogre bodies are pretty tasty with like the, yeah. the size of the arms and the shoulders. Mm. They are proper I ended up using body. for the for the right arm, the power claw arm, I ended up using a, a chaos arm from a demon prince, I think oh, it was. Oh, I shaved nice. off all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I ended up using. Um, it's good because it's not that much bigger than a war boss the old plastic kit um, no so no. there's some useful bits just i've been thinking about thinking making like a a demon prince orc from it for a while not fucking tusker mm. i'm not a basic tusker. fucking yeah. bitch right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but yeah he should leave my speed wild quite nicely for the war yeah. bosses. He'll probably die first turn, but you know. So he's, he's part of your list. <laughs> is he? He's not dreads. He's not dreads. He it's not dreads one. 
Yeah, it's no, yeah, it'll be, it'll be don't, don't, don't just, unit of don't just don't. race in and go. Who, who else? Who else did that? Who else is billed for that? Mine's the same. Well, mine's for my list for the meetup. Who else? Oh yeah, like, yeah, is... yeah, yeah. Oh no, well, not, not for the meetup. If not I finish it, up, but it's yeah. for my list. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's not for the meetup. Yeah, well, it's, it's a two well, and one for. Uh... Yeah. Definitely. Well, the meetup list is like my thousand point list, and then my fifteen hundred point list. I can have the war boss that I've made yeah, for but... this list, or I can have my. <laughs> yeah, when I say or... this is for your list, I don't mean any list ever. I clearly meant for the <laughs> I know, meetup. as it goes like, up in points, it's then for I include this, this miniature. Is, uh, well, of course. <laughs> when oh, I've made a list, list point, I've you when can't fit anything in a thousand points. You know, so no, oh, it's not in the yeah. thousand points because what can you get in that? Dice of Destiny, free us. I've from swapped this it out since that first one was Kurt. I hope I find it later. We've now got number three. Oh, it's me. Me. All right. Okay. So we're getting the best oh, two boys, out of the double way, bill. Then, To the telly yeah. box. Hello, Sid here, and welcome to the Drunken Orc. Today we're going to be looking at a build I've done recently for the Warboss show as part of a challenge that me and the other five Warbosses have been taking part in, which was to build an Orc character. So I've decided to build a Warbanner knob because I've only got one, I've done them a long time ago, and I don't really like them. He's never even seen a tabletop, so I thought it's time to update it. Now, for the basis of this, I'm going to be using some bits and bobs from the bits box, as well as a body of a Mr. Modulork Commando. Now, he's a big lad, as they are. I think one must have been printed off at 100% size. The was sent was pre-printed. And, uh, yeah, they're chunky boys, at least knob size. At least. <laughs> the size of orc knobs, I, I mean, of course. And, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the build. So here's the legs and the torso. I've already done a little bit of cutting on the torso. I've cut his right arm off. So I was going to replace that with something else. And I've also trimmed down the torso length as well because it was quite long. I was sent this piece from Mr. Modulo as well. And it looks like it's off a killer can. I'm guessing. It's a big chunky mechanical arm. It's got that sucker and ball joint. I've cut the ball off the shoulder that's where it's going to join onto the orc and he is big enough to take this and uh, there's a little ball on the end there as well you can see where the hand goes and i do actually cut that away as well so i can put a proper a proper power claw power fist on the end i stuck the torso to the legs and i also pinned a wedge of plastic rod onto the shoulder because when i put the killer can arm on i don't want it hanging just down by his side i want it out a little bit just to make it a little bit more not dynamic, but you know, give it a bit more movement. Now I cut the ball joint off to make my own hand. And to do this, I got some two millimeter gardening wire, that's the black piece, and a plastic tube which fits quite snugly over the top. That's the white piece. I was then able to bend the wire at about 45 degrees, add a little blob of super glue, and put little sections of the plastic tube over the top. Now this is gonna be the, the fingers, the tube and will be the fingers, and the black wire underneath will be like the joints. A bit like the body glove suit on a Space Marine's armor. Once I had four of these, I stuck three on as fingers, and one on as a thumb. I didn't want to do the full power claw, because he's the knob with wire banner. He's gonna be holding a wire banner. And these big chunky robot fingers will be able to do that. Uh, whereas the big blade claw fingers are just, well, just chop it up, wouldn't it? I also added some more wires and tubes using soldering wire and used little thin bits of uh, plastic tubing and rod just to act as sort of holders and points where the wire clipped into place. I also patched up some of the damage on the killer claw with some putty. Just was because that it looked like was that it, was, it, was, it, was, it was already there. I think it was a misprint piece, free. to be fair. That's Any resultant it. damage is actually battle damage for his combi shooter i took a knob shooter which i'd already snipped the rockets off or something else and i shaved away the hand underneath the foregrip as the hand holding the handle was a right hand i had to cut that hand away and i nicked another left hand off a knob with a slugger arm i also left the wrist wrap on because that'll extend the length of the forearm and this commando's left arm had a bit of a stumpy forearm whereas this helps make it look more proportioned it's fine with the Mr. Modulo hands on, but when you stick a normal GW hand on without any extra wrist, it's a bit short. 
Then added a couple of barrels, an extension to the top shooter, and where I cut the rocket shield away, I put a heavy stubber barrel on, just to give it a two barrel look. It is a combi shooter after all. Also, a couple of bits of plastic cord just to have an ejection port on the left hand side of the weapon, whereas normally it's on the other side. And then to finish it, I stuck a second magazine on it, so it's got one magazine for each barrel, and a little ammo pouch tied to the back. Combi shooter done. For the head, I grabbed a little resin cap off a, an orc officer head, which I believe came from Spellcrow, and I stuck that on the knob head. As you can see here, he looks like a villain from Popeye. I then stuck everything together with blue tack just for a little test fit. It was at this point I realised the head was absolutely ridiculous and the angle of the left arm with the long combi shooter meant that it reached off the base and touched the ground. As this is not ideal, I quickly knocked up a new base. This base was piled up with some cork bits and covered in texture paint. I kept a few flat surfaces at the top for them to stand on and that would give the combi shooter the ability to hang down without actually touching the table in oh, front. I'm not going to follow this. I also oh, scattered a few tufts yeah, no. and skulls around <laughs> it and fully painted it. It's the first time I fully painted a base before the model was even finished being built. It felt weird. Took one of the Mr. Modulo backpacks, which are pretty cool themselves, and a torso already has all the straps and harness on, so you can just put the backpack on. Well, it does look pretty cool without it as well. However, as this was going to be a commando knob with wire banner, you needed more gubbins and bits for spec ops deep in enemy territory. So I made him a chopper, which was just the head off a normal boy's chopper, and the chopper handle was taken from a spear off a savage orc boar boy. I put a bit of plastic tube around the bottom of the handle and put some little studs on it with some plastic putty. I also added another plastic tube around the handle higher up, and this is to show where it clips to the backpack. As the spear had no wrap around it, I put a little bit of handle wrap on using some dental tape. That was my idea! I also had a spare <laughs> knob slugger and a handle I'd taken off a resin shooter. So I stuck that handle on and then put a little bit of solder wire around again to show where the slugger is attached to the backpack. Stuck the chopper to the top and the slugger to the side. Also added a machete from some AOS ogre kit. Because that'll be handy for hacking through jungles. Next, the wire banner. I sketched out what I wanted to do on a post-it note, then cut it out and stuck the post-it note with a piece of plastic card, cut the plastic card out, and then built it up with more pieces of plastic card just to give it a little bit of depth and texture. You can also see I've stuck it to a wooden barbecue skewer, and on the back I added more armor plates and some plastic tubes around the skewer just to show where it was attached and I slipped some little thin bits of plastic cord under the loops just so it looks like those loops are actually a strip of metal that's been hammered around the pole and onto that. I then added some big rivets where they were needed. Rivets came from Meng and lots of little plastic putty rivets just by dabbing little dots on. As they aren't as big, don't take up as much space. As you can see here, I ditched the Popeye head and I went with a Mr. Modulog head which has a nice commando -y beady hat and a bit of a scowl on. I stuck the arm on, primed them all black, and then dry brushed them with grey, a light grey, and then a white, just to get them ready for a little bit of slap chop. Yeah, you can see I stuck a little bit of plastic tube into the base, that's so when the wire banner is slid through his fist, it's got somewhere to nestle into. That just secures it. You can also see his boots, because he was having a bit of a test fit on the base there. This grainy little pick shows us halfway through his paint job. And he's not really as garish and cartoony as a lot of my other orcs. I used a lot of olive green colours and muted browns and what have you. I don't normally like using green on orcs, other than the skin. But with this, it does look quite militaristic and I do quite like it. I also painted these two lines on his power fist and on the other side is actually a little star, which you might see later. Just for a splash of colour, I've done some hazard cables and some blue cables and also painted these grenades bright red. The wire banner got the full orky treatment, and to be fair, looks pretty garish. So garish in fact, I thought it looked quite out of place on this military looking orc. So I thought, well since you can slide the banner into his fist, and it fits into the base nice and snug, and it doesn't fall off, why don't I do another banner, and I can swap them out for whichever one I want to use. 
In fact, I could do three banners, or four, or five, or just keep making banners. In the end, I decided to do one more, for now. Something more thematic with the rest of the model. So I started out sketching an axe on a bit of plastic card, and then cut it out, and used it as a template, made a second axe. And at that point, I stopped recording progress. So that's it. That's the build. It is finished. I am pleased with the results. He's a big chunky lad, and I do like the idea I can swap out the banners. In future, I'd probably make a third or fourth banner, and I've actually thought about putting some of those little bits of plastic tube, the ones that the banner slips into, longer ones, onto some vehicles and what have you, so I can just drill a hole in, slide the tube in, and then I can just pop the banners in, and the banners can be swapped around through very, various different models and vehicles and what have you in the army, um, depending on what I'm playing, or just what I like the look of on the day. But speaking of which, let's have a look at it and see what you think. I've got some uh, little rotating tables as well. Because, you know, they're always fun, aren't they? Thanks for watching. Ta da. For a moment there, I was like, Where's the blood axe banner? Why isn't the blood in center? <laughs>just as a bit of an added extra flex uh, I also finished a pain boy kit bash I was doing <laughs> just you know Ooh, very nice for yeah. a two for one on the old character front so <laughs> enjoy that as well <laughs> cheers lads he don't get extra points for that <laughs> <laughs> strike it from the record getting gold he wants to get gold and silver this year he? <laughs> first place me second place me <laughs> yeah i just thought the pain boying because i'd been uh, i'd been working on him i'd nearly i, had, I needed to paint him and had a few little things to do and i thought i'll chuck him in because it was I just the day we announced model. that we might do a challenge you just uh, we hadn't even decided exactly what we was going to do oh yeah yeah I'm fucking I think next day you had it done <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, man. The road. <clears throat> this is this is how this is see this is how you do your homework kids don't put it off to the last minute get it yeah. no do it straight away <laughs> yes do it last minute <laughs> then you get the disaster that is my video well, I, said, <laughs> no. I said the other day i said the conversation went like this i said i've got a great idea for an episode and dren said that was my idea and then sid said finished <laughs> 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 I love oh, the work that, on the fingers, on the fist. It looks so good. That that, that I've been yeah, wanting to do it for a while. I appreciate while, but I've never that. Had like a, a, yeah, a wrist really nice enough, wrist, big enough to do it. But then mm. that can arm, I was like, oh. I'm really glad you tried something like that. That's so I good think... with a plastic tube over the smaller plastic tube. Yeah, that, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that I've that was always nice. been wondering how I was going to do that. I'm, I'm going to nick that idea. Yeah, I'm going to steal it as well. Really like it. Well, it's a piece of piss. And to be fair, you can sort of like modify it and. You can have them as open or pointing or, you know... The, the chopper hand. handle as well looks really, really tidy. I like things yeah. when people take something that you very easily recognise and just change it just a little bit, you know, yeah. just make... But yeah, make the, the, fact the banner just slides out. Yeah, it's a great idea, that. Yeah. And that one slides back in. That's and it's, awesome. it's like proper... You know, it's not coming <laughs> in. So I was going so to make a few, but it's not... Enough time. Well, you, you've got to make one for every clan now, haven't you? You haven't really have a choice now, do yeah. you? Yeah. 
I was thinking about that. Although he's very definitely Blood Axe. I think I've started mm. Blood Axe yeah. attachment in me while now. Yeah, clearly. Uh, yeah, clearly. <laughs> but we knew we were going to do them all eventually. It was just a question of yeah, how long yeah, we yeah, yeah. Mm. So that'll yeah, be so. four, four. I suppose you count fifth with the snake bite, snake bitey themed type ones. Yeah, and the, the yeah the beast snaggers. Just although like, the beast snaggers could be any you wanted. That's the that's the thing I like about yeah. beast snaggers. Mm. That banner though, the first banner, not the blood axe one, the other one. That looked beautiful. That was really just, I couldn't see him that. sneaking through a yeah. jungle with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm here. I'm the here. Big, big red face <laughs> coming through the trees. <laughs> I don't think even a blood axe war banner knob would sneak. <laughs> no, no, true. <laughs> true. Yeah. What's that? Um, what's that chopper off? Can you remember what sprue it's off? Uh, it's a boy's chopper. It was Is a it? boy's chopper with a. Um, I wanted a longer handle, so I used the handle off a spear. From the Savage Oryx, mm -hmm. um, pinned that on and had to put the wrap on with the dental tape and then just a little bit of plastic tube as like a cap on the end with the yeah, on nice. rivets. Did you have any hassle with the dental tape, like regarding paint or anything? Like, is, is it was it covered in wax or anything? No. I know what a lot of flosses tend to be. Oh, no, it was fine to be honest with you. I bought, um, I bought two lots of dental tape, I bought the like you know, the, the brand name. Um, I can't remember what, what name it is. It's around here somewhere. Probably coming out Colgate or whatever. And I bought the really cheap sort of Morrison's one because I was at Morrison's. And uh, I find the Morrison one's better because the branded one's probably a better quality dental tape. But when you wrap it, it stays nice and flat. And you, can, mm. you can't really see it as much. But the, the cheap one twists and and rifts up a bit and you, you can pick the detail out better it's so easy to work with as well isn't it yeah. it's so easy you can just wind it round and the glue soaks into it and it, yeah. It, yeah it's mint it's so easy Little to work with it's pre really glue cool. it stick it down trying to do with your fingers and do it yeah that'll be yeah, yeah. give it, give it's, it's it one fun. of them and it's done yeah nice and it comes in handy little dispensers you can just snap it off for how much you need yeah. it's quality <laughs> although like green stuff you never get the right amount and <laughs> with that much you need like that much well I'll tell you what I did not want to go first um, I definitely don't want to go third because I am following no, those no. two Park roll a one hell. it's roll a one come on we've peaked early on this one guys get my shit out <laughs> right if we get a, a two or a three we'll just roll again yeah it's a four it's Scar oh, oh Scar very short sure peel. <laughs> <laughs> Funky vibes, then, mate. Mm. Oh, oh, the go-to kit, the barrels and the tenier kit. Considering that took you two days to do, not even two days. Well, what, what was the build? I think the build was the stream, so it was like two and a half hours. We'll say yeah. three, yeah. and then that's 
bloody brilliant. I stayed up way too late last night. I think I spent about five hours altogether painting. So I really, yeah, I really like that. That's a cracking job. What's it like mate? to finish, Scott? Obviously. Well, <laughs> like, yeah, we've never had you in. Yeah, well, about right. I've, never, I've never competed before. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, it's cool. It's nice to have him. Uh, you know, most yeah, he looks fucking good. Really he looks really good. good. So so you cool. do, you do really good conversions, but you just. Very I'm just. Give I, I do benefit, really good conversion so. work. I'm just a lazy bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he looks oh, fucking great. Yeah. Very nice job. I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to teach me to do the um the smokestacks and the flames. Yeah. No oh, butter. Yeah, yeah that looks, that looks, looks that. really mint. And he photographs great as well. And he's, he's turning the angle of the, the flame mm. looking down in the, the you've got the posing of him looking down the barrel of it. Yeah. He's he's got that uh, in certain characters I love when they seem to have a bit of swagger to them. They got mm -hmm. a bit of like, you know, and I, I love that and the way he's, he's head got that sort of tilted on the, yeah, on the barrel. With that. intent yeah, yeah. and he just looks like a complete badass. Oh, I fucking love it. He, he nearly had no, a different fuck you. head. You're gonna burn. Yeah. He, he nearly had a different head because I lost that. And then I was yes, putting on uh, we remember. Oh yeah, I was putting on like a mega knob head or something like that. And then I dropped that on the floor and I found the original head. I was like, hey <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah so no cracking stuff, man. Yeah, I need to do it, it, a bit more. I need to do more of that work with the green stuff for tubing. I've never, I've never done that really. I've done it just yeah, plain super, and super with easily, rollers yeah. and that. Yeah, yeah. No, I need to. The little connectors either side of it were nice and tidy. Yeah, that's not yeah, very yeah. on them. Easy that's, to get it to connect up to that's, something. That's yeah. the pain is trying to you're trying to super glue the green stuff while it's still flexible enough a to flick, move yeah. into position yeah. and not make a a, a hames of it like not not mess it up. But yeah, no with. I was enjoying the um, like the rivets for the connections on it, it uh, either yeah, side of the pipe, yeah. doing them, and then doing the the ones for the straps, like the just from plastic card rod, right? Just plastic card rods yeah. sliced yeah, up. Yeah, nice. It's like you buy the um, the multi pack. There's like you can buy uh, there's like a, an evergreen multi pack, mm -hmm. so it has a load of different sizes in it. So I find that one's a good one. Might not be the only green stuff. Green stuff roller <laughs> tubing we see today. I look forward to more. Great. Yeah. 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 Next on the the, the, just quickly, the the trick with the the trick when you're doing green stuff rolling work or like well any tubing with green stuff, let it cure a bit. Like mm. give mm. it a while and then well, before roll it. you roll it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, before you, you even roll it. it. Yeah, I learned and that then, the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm yeah. stuck together that. yeah oh, and the shit. green stuff maker cable maker just all meshed in there like that <laughs> it's, it's very oh, it's man. very very Throw that away, buy another one. and it was dim actually it said to me just like leave it there for an hour come back and try again and yeah, yeah sure enough work beautifully nice. yeah. 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 a little bit of talcum big, powder helped as well a little bit of talcum powder or a little like that one no scar because you've got because I normally do much thinner than that on the big thick one when it was bent all the ridges were sort of like angled in like, like it would be on a flexible, yeah. Tube. It was, yeah, mm. spot on. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah, yeah a little sprinkling a little water as well uh, when you're rolling it if you're not using talcum powder and then sorted. Yeah, so he's like 80% painted. And like I said, I want to do the OSL on him as well, the dry brushing. So, okay. well, uh, I want well, you to put well, a special yeah. brew logo on his uh can <laughs> on the back. <laughs> 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 Dutch girl yeah. or something, yeah. 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 <laughs> what is it, White Lightning? What's the, what's the yeah. <laughs> monster energy drink? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'll put him in the I'll put him in the list for uh, the meetup. No, I'll, do, I'll do like a I'll do a knob squad, and he's in it. Like nice. I don't I see, I, like I don't care about options. I'm just like, what looks cool? Okay, I'll I'll do that. Like yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Well, you got the option for me. It's a custom shooter, isn't it? Oh, what is the it? combi shooter or whatever they call them now. Yeah. But yeah. Combi cool. flamer. Oh. No. Is it is it, it is it is it is it dice time? It's it dice is. time. I'm gonna go on a D three now. Because it's yeah. halfway through. So that is a two. That's which me. Is dread. Oh. Okay. Uh, Please don't be last. <laughs> I want to get mine out of the way. Don't be forced for begging not to be. I was thinking exactly the same thing, Dim. 
Mine is not one to end on. Let's put it that way. That's, that's dreadful. Ready? Okay, back, back music. Here are my bits. My first ever episode. A character build challenge. Quite dread. So, I can't hear dread. What I have got here, himself. as you can <laughs> well see, is a nice body from Hardcore Minis and a head from the Artel um, Biker Boss and a jaw from Feg knows where I can't remember that fits him quite nicely, I think, anyway, at least. Um, let's see if I can do it on camera and squeeze him in there. Without shaky cam, too much shaky cam, yeah, too much shaky cam. Check that out. What a wobble! What a wobble! I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna try and limit it. There it is. Would it focus? Bingo! So yeah, I think that might work on that because I can't really give him much in the way of shoulder pads because leather jacket can't be ruining the leather jacket. So we've got the leather jacket. But what I can do to customise him a little bit more. Is change the arm. I can't even remember what the, arm, the, the what the choppy weapon was even now. Um, but I've got this power claw that actually has a very similar sized circular bit as the circular bit of arm that is missing there. Quite clever, huh? Except it does have some cables that need to be trimmed off and new cables inserted into his arm somewhere. So there's a bit of green stuff in, a little bit of messing about with some cables. And then I'm thinking might put this little detail up round his belt on the no, back I somewhere. Love that bit. I so yeah, not too much to do, bits. but I really do need a boss and he's going to fit him in my Rough Riders perfectly. So yeah, he's got the goggles, he's got the look, he works well with them. He'll fit in with those truck boys that I've already got just perfectly. But a war boss is not only armed with a power claw and a custom shootery thing, he's also usually armed with a, uh, uh, a squig, a big squig, a attack squig. Sometimes big, sometimes small. Well, this one's going to be mighty big because it's one of the Cromlech ones. But I'm not just going to leave him as he is. No, no, because that's just boring. I'm going to attach wheels. Yeah. So I'm going to take some wheels that I've got left over from the Orc War Bus from Puppets War. And I'm going to trim the legs off and fix them on either side. And then probably use some exhausts uh, from either the bike kit or the killer cans kit, something like that. So yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. War boss, attack squig. And then I thought, you know what? I did let everybody down on the last challenge. So I'm going to try did. and do a bonus challenge now, Dredd. Including you yourself. Always, you always promise more than you can chew. I know, I know. But I do need this miniature made as well. So my other plan is a mech. Now, yes, he is in a wheelchair of sorts. <laughs> it's a track chair. And now I've already decided on a head that I'm very happy with. Ta-da! So this is my mech. Now what I'm thinking is because he's got that missing leg, I might use this leftover shooter, also from that Orc War bus, to go just there. Okay, boys and gits, let's start with the bonus, because I didn't finish the bonus thing. So here's the bonus thing. Now what I did do was I decided against the arms I picked out to start with. So uh, because the orc arms just look too small when they're actually offered up to that big round shoulder pad that's on either side and part of this body. Um, so I've gone for bionic arms. But he's still got a buzzsaw and a mech gun. So, you know, he is very easily, convincingly a mech. Um, and yeah, put that backpack thing on. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah... There you go, that's the mech. Okay, so that's that's the last we'll see of him for the time being because I don't have any snazzy pictures of him because he's not finished. But yeah, there, that's that. That's the bonus thing. Now then, the thing that required a little bit of playing about would be the squig. Ta-da! The squig. So, he needed, eyes look amazing, um, mate. Obviously, the wheel's putting on. So I've decided to put some pupiled them. blades on them wheels so he's got some form of spikiness, bladiness, of effectiveness outside of his own mouth radar area. You know, no one's going to want to try and punch them tyres all the time. There's a spinning blade on them. Um, he's got an engine, bionic something going on that's been sort of fused into his internals and an exhaust because it's fun. Love the way you've angled the wheels in <laughs> so as well. Yeah, like, that's the attack squig. That. Oh, sorry. It's such bad cameramanship. Um, but yeah, it's an attack squig! And then we have... The grand finale, the war boss. I'm quite happy with this. Um, 
I, I, I'm happy with a paint job as it is. Uh, I would probably be fussy and go and add some more detail later, maybe at some stage. But it's definitely happily tabletop. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how he's turned out. The uh, the claw looks well good for him. I'm happy with the amount of red that I went with in the end. I did change the trousers from brown to red. I was doing them brown for a while, but they've gone to sort of a deep red, so they're like a leather red. Um, I just thought, yeah, do you know what? He needs a little bit more red on him, especially as I'm going for my light T-shirt look. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'll show you the back. Uh, just get, do the rotating table that is my hand. Uh, but bottom of the claw's got a bit of the old crown colours. Obviously, the underside of the metallics is darker than the top sides. I try to do that anyway. As you can see on the knife that I was painting on my little live stream. Um... Leather jacket turned out pretty cool. Quite happy with that. Um, skin tone's all right. Not like majorly made up about how I did the skin on this one, to be fair. Or the nails. Don't look at the nails. Ignore the nails. But yeah, it is tabletop. And I'm happy with him. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are proud of me. Because I, you know, I actually finished a project in time to put the video out and everything. So anyway, enough said. Look at some sexy pictures of said Hair out for a little walk today. and stuff very nice nice one very nice Jude. Mm. he looks very good that's a great mini as well isn't it the head is just i think it's, yeah it worked and... right against on that model i thought you know I've got, i want to change it up a little bit you know like i can't do everything i think it needs to be different to what it originally was so you go oh it looks like it fits it looks like it came as a kit but it didn't yeah that's what i do yeah, the fact you saw me you on, a, on a that. Cromlech squig is. I quite like the squigs. They look like look like the old fantasy. They they do look quite retro. I, I'm fantasy with Dim. Squigs. I'm not I'm not overly a fan of them, but I, I love what you've done with it, Dread. I, I like Nothing it. wrong with the sculpts, just don't appeal to me. So yeah, it's because I've got a bit of a smile on. Yeah. <laughs> which is weird because strictly speaking my problem with the orcs is they're not smiling enough but with I think I picked one of the better ones there are several yeah. of them and I, I think I picked one of the better ones uh, I love what you've done with it I think the paint yeah. job you've given it the the, 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 the the feeling of motion that it's got um, yeah. the way the wheels aren't flat they actually curve yeah. in with it and it gives it yeah. a little bit of like he's, like, he's motoring along yeah. It. yeah yeah I like that yeah a bit of motion in it yeah and the, the the boss looks fantastic. There's a stunning paint job on it. I was like, have you have you got to weather down the metals a bit on it? Yeah, yeah a little bit. That's yeah. the only thing I was thinking when I was looking. I was like, his jaws are a little bit too clean and crisp. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I haven't really done any work on it. I really, figured, yeah. yeah, I figured yeah. that you hadn't finished it yet. But because I was yeah. expecting there wasn't, a, you haven't done a brown wash on the gold yet, have you? No, and I haven't. I haven't done any washes, basically. Yet, it already so looks like a lot better than a lot of fi people's finished miniatures in my book. I haven't done any dirtying down, <laughs> basically. The only place I dirtied down so far was literally just one little bit on the claw, which is like an exhausted bit on the claw. That's yeah. the only bit I actually dirtied down mm. at all. Yeah, <laughs> so... He looks yeah. great. He fits the theme of your army um, really well, and he just ties in. He's going to fit right in with the rest of your lads. He's going to fit in perfect, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to look yeah. really good as part of your force, yeah. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't look like the type of guy that's got much worry about fitting in anyway. I think mean, he he fits wherever he <laughs> wants. He's, he's, he's going to slide in with them truck boys. Uh, they've already got like the knob with that huge chopper. And yeah, he'll uh, turf it out. Get out. And... I'm the fucking daddy now. Yeah, he basically, do what, do, what, do what you did to me, Steve. Though, basically, and just rush somebody with a, a, a war boss and boys unit. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that was right. The boss doesn't have to yeah. fit in. If he doesn't fit in, that's not the problem. It's that everyone else doesn't fit in with him. I mean, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly that. He the daddy. 
<laughs> All right, so it's only it's only between two now, is it? Mm. It is, yeah. It'll mm. be on a one uh, to three. It'll be dim on a four up. Are they saving the best evil. for last? I wonder. Four up, Steve. Oh no, we've got a five. Oh, who is it? That's you, <laughs> Steve. Five plus Steve. Yeah, straight <laughs> in the <laughs> Right, guys. So, uh, this is um, what I'm going to be working on. Um, so, I've decided for my character uh, entry to be a runt herd. Uh, the reason for this being that, um, well, I need some runt herds. I've got some grots. Runt herds are now compulsory. So uh, this is going to be a win-win for me, uh, whether or not I win this competition or not. CNC, uh, it'll be a win. Sneaky trophy. I get a run stuff. herd for my army. Um, something I actually need, so I'm not just building something for the competition. Uh, but yeah, these are the bits I've got together. So um, for the body, uh, I'm going to be using uh, one of these. This is one of the uh, Savage Oruk bodies. Um, and then heads, I've got a choice of two heads at the moment that I'm undecided on. I do have this, the, the, the bad moon head, uh, which would work quite nice, I think, but I have used a few of these throughout my army elsewhere. Very bad, moon. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Perhaps uh, I need something else to make him a bit more unique. Um, so my other option is this one. Now, this is one that a long, long time ago, a fanboy of the channel known as Dreadwire Gaming uh, sent this to me along with a few other bits. I want that back. Um, and I think he's quite cool. He's uh, I like the hood over. Um, and I think it'll work quite well with this body. I think, uh, yeah, I think that'll work quite well. Um, then uh, we've got a bit of a grot prod there, a whip a slugger. So I am thinking I'm probably going to equip him with the whip and a slugger. But, do you know what? It probably isn't going to be that slugger, actually. I've got, over on the windowsill there, I've got some of the new boys sprues, which I'm not a big fan of. But what I will say about that sprue, fucking awesome sluggers in there. The, the, the guns, the detail on the guns in that kit is so much better than the... The classic boys. Um, it's the it's one of the few oh, things that you just wanted to bring it up for the sake the, of it, was it? Eh? Boys, yeah. um, is that the the guns are just so, so much it's crisper, a broken nice, record on this channel, isn't it? Unique. <laughs> Fuck so you! I think I'll probably uh, scrap that <laughs> slugger and find you. another one. So he's going to have a in this arm that's upright. He's going to have a slugger, and then I'm going to put the the whip arm on here, which will need a little bit of green stuff work, which. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I might end up sculpting some fur or something over the joint to sort of hide it a bit. And then, but the most exciting bit of this, for me at least, is uh, the squig hound. So I will be using one of these. Uh, I've got the legs and the tail over there, but this is the head. And it is this one, which is from the Age of Sigma um, squig herd box. And I used a lot of these for um, bomb squigs, but I've all I've saved this one. And I've been saving it for ages, just for this very reason. You can see he's chomping on a night goblin there, who's desperately trying to pull his way back out. Um, and it looks like incredibly painful how he's been uh, pulled in there, um, but perfect for a squig hound. It looks like he's munching on one of them naughty grots that's tried to escape. Um, sending a message to all the others, so I think it will make an absolutely fantastic squig hound look really characterful. Um, yeah, and I think it will go quite nicely with the feral orcs I've been making and stuff and that as well. And I, I always see runt herds as these kind of bit more feral. I sort of imagine them round a campfire, telling tales with the grots and that, and like old slave masters and stuff like. So yeah, um, I think this will work quite well. Uh, with the little trinkets and stuff he's got around his neck and that. I think, yeah, I think it'll be quite cool. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, there's the bits. Um, we'll do a quick um, fade out or a wipe here and you'll hopefully see some progress made. Look at that project placement uh, in the background there. There we are. So, as you can see, I have uh, <laughs> taken the, the mould lines off him and I've glued the whip arm on. Um 
because of the way it's supposed to join to the, the proper arm i've had to like file it down and get it flat on there um, as you can see it is an incredibly ugly join um, but fear not because what i intend to do is mold green stuff over him and give him like a you know a fur over his like shoulders and back basically um, i have no idea whether that will go well uh, I guess if it doesn't, I'll just rip it all off and I'll start again. But, uh, well, you'll have already seen it at this point, but uh, at the time of recording, later on, we're going live uh, doing green stuff. Uh, and so, yeah. Still find it weird that they the put the tongs on the it. neck. Mm -hmm. um, but then also yeah. about to attach the head. Um, now you can see that tongue bit and that neck poking out. I've got to cut that off because I've got to get this head on there. And he joins on, sort of like that. Um, so um yeah i gonna have to trim that bit off and then i might have to file down the nub to give it sort of less girth so it'll be able to fit in this head socket get, and you know get the head just right i don't want it to look like his neck's too long and also i don't want it to look like he's got no neck so as you can see uh i've got the head attached in the end um it looks a bit funny from that angle but i think it, it does work um i don't know if at the time of taking these pictures either that uh I don't know if I'd quite finish the neck bit there. But there you can see these all together. Um, I did end up using that old slugger in the end. Um, I'm just testing him out on the base. You see I've got the squig attached to the base, just with blue tack at the moment, just to get the positioning right of where I want them. But yeah, overall, I'm really liking the direction he's going in at this point. Um, I've just got to sort out that ugly arm join. And... Uh, yeah that came when we did the live um i've got to thank uh dim for the assistance on this green stuff i'm sure a link will be appearing if the editor has remembered to put one in at this point uh pointing you back to our old uh, green stuff live video from a couple of weeks ago uh and dim's guidance on teaching a novice like me how to use green stuff uh was a really cool experience actually because i've only made like it's very simple things out of green stuff i've done a bit of gap filling i've done the odd strap and things here and there and little bits but um i don't know uh this was quite a big step for me to uh try something new and uh you know that that fear of trying something new that oh what if it goes wrong what if i'm shit at it um but yeah overall i'm really chuffed with it is it the best fur you've ever seen probably not but it's fur that i'm happy with um I can see though by trying this out a bit more I can I feel like I could get better at that and create some really cool looking stuff so yeah with the fur done he was finished so it was off to um, give him a uh, classic varnish, high court maybe you, you can make yourself a green um, stuff hair squid now Steve -o. I think he's glued he's blue tacked to a toilet roll there for uh, ease of uh, access with the spray um, then I get the base coats on I can't remember what kind of purple that's called. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting the starting off with the skin on both of them. Um, that is green skin from the Army Painter and the Squigs base coat, I think is Warlock purple, I believe. Uh, then what are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh, oh yeah, we're getting his fur, that green stuff fur. I'm going to paint it. So I'm trying two Army Painter colours that I haven't used very much in the past. Um, but I wanted to try some different browns on here because I'm always using leather brown and oak brown. Uh, as you can see, this came out quite bright. Um, and I was a bit sort of, oh, I don't know if that looks good, but then I thought, no, no, you can, you can tone it down with the washes later on and then come in with some highlights and stuff. So yeah, I did that later on. That's the one I used, fur brown, fur brown. So yeah, as you can see, uh, starting now to take shape. Uh, the painting of this fella took me a while. Uh, you've, you've been watching me do this though, haven't you, on the, on the lives, if you've been watching the lives. Um, and there he is, almost done. Um, started to get the yellow on his little bits of armor. Very little yellow, just a little bit up there on the gun. Um, so yeah, it's a tiniest little bit of yellow on this guy. Um, I wanted to have more naturalistic colors on him, mostly. Um, just a little flash of yellow, because he's got to have some yellow on him somewhere. Um, you can see the uh, squig hound there getting done more as well. Uh, I, I love the miniature. I've, I've, from the moment I've had that box, I knew that squig was going to be a squig hound. And there you go. With all the base colors all done, it was just a case of then getting the wash on. 
Uh, so that was a soft tone wash over the whole thing. And that's the moment where I thought, oh yeah, he's starting to look good now. Um, over his fur, I, I put another wash on as well. I sort of thought, um, I decided to put on a uh, strong tone on him just to get um, the fur, bring that color, tone it down a little bit. Um, and then I went in with a highlight of monster brown over the top of that. Um, and then his skin got the usual highlights and everything else. But uh, yeah, um, anyway, uh, let's stop waffling on about it. And let's just show you the finished article. <laughs> So, yep, yeah, there you go. There is uh, my entry for the character competition. Um, his name is Guzgob, um, and he is the storyteller of the Broken Tooth tribe. Um, he remembers all the tales of old and famous battles and things that the, the tribe have been through. Um, and he, he, he tells this to his little grot underlings. And uh, yeah, he, he can be quite. See, he can be quite a nice runt herd when he wants to be. Um, you know, stories by the campfire, cozy, warm. Rots with their little toes wiggling, listening intently. You know, it's quite sweet, really, isn't it? Um, if they can step out of line, they get the lash, or they get eaten by the squid hound. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, so is he going to win this competition? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but I do feel like I've won because I'm really pleased to finally have a fully painted runt herd because on my recent battle reports I've had all the rest of my army fully painted the one thing that's letting it down each time is the bloody runt herds uh, I do need to get another one painted up now though as well so I can have uh, two squads of grots um, but yeah I'm, I'm chuffed with him though I, I think it works well um, but yes, I imagine <laughs> one of the other bosses is probably a, a more worthy winner than I. But uh, that's for you to decide. Back to the studio. Ah, well, we don't know what's the last one. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I'm banging. That's the that's third. That's really good. Well in the end, no, nah, nice, cracking job, mate. Very nice. I yeah, I am pleased with him. It, it was it was cool. It was it was like I say, it's a win-win. I needed him for the list, and it was like fun um, learning something new. Actually, uh, I'm not mm -hmm. very good. At... And yeah, so. Yeah, that was quality. And, a, there's uh, a lot of triumphs wrapped up in that for you, isn't there? Yeah, there is actually. There is. Yeah, suppose... painting on painting on camera as well during the lives. Mm -hmm. I've never never painted on camera before, like, and that was a bit like. So yeah, it's uh, it's that I don't know, it's that intruder syndrome thing, you know. But yeah, uh, I ain't going for the simpry vote, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of new ground that one, though, didn't you? You know what I mean? Yeah. I suppose if 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 you win, I'll get a little bit of sort of moral. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit of washes over onto you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> now he's up against incredibly that. good. <laughs> he's up against incredibly good competition. But look, do you know what? Um, it's it, it got another thing done. So, like I say, it sounds cheesy yeah. as fuck, but yeah, uh, a winner. I'm, I, I do love the way the squigs gums look. I love. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone noticed on the camera. You get like a glisten on the gums. Yeah, yeah, it did because stuff uh, that was really I didn't just see that. it over the lens flare. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you I'm glad you put it in without that afterwards. So I was like, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't see it over the centerfold's tits, to be honest. You gits wouldn't understand, you know. Yeah. Ah, well. <laughs> So we're not on only fans, are we? So, you so know. about the bling, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most bad mean video ever. <laughs> I'm really glad. Make the, it the, rain. Really <laughs> glad the green stuff uh, worked out for you because I was worried that you were going to talk yourself out of it. 
Yeah, no, cheers, mate. mate. Like I say, you the, see the, how the, easy the, it is, right? You fucker. yeah, the guy it was it was <laughs> it was good and it was it was fun to do as well. Mm. It, once mm. I got doing it, it was actually quite a therapeutic. Quite you a can't fun really process. feel because if the first result is a bit rubbish, you just make more, you just cut into it more, and dice it about and mess around, and eventually it'll look great. How did you feel, Steve? When you first put it on the mini, did it did it like <laughs> oh you like oh fuck I fucked it? Did you, did you <laughs> well, that? Like I said in the thing, I thought I wasn't overly worried about fucking it because I thought, well, you can just get it all back off again. Yeah. But I put it on, but I was just like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of green stuff work and not all of it's good. Um, and no. like like with my kit bashes that I do, everything, I always dread said it with this one earlier where it look, doesn't look like a kit bash. And that's what I'm always going for with whatever I'm making. Yeah. If I'm just tweaking something or converting or whatever, I mm. want... I don't want people to know it to a degree. I want it. Yeah. Like, yeah. The biggest compliment would be if someone picked this up and went, oh, that's cool. I like yeah. that furry body. Where'd you get that from? I'm like, oh, mate. You know? the, biggest, <laughs> yeah, the, nice. the biggest hurdle to get over with green stuff work, and, and, and shitting you not, the biggest hurdle is just to get over that hurdle of, right, I've mixed this. Now I'm going to put it down for half an hour and not touch it. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you can get yeah. past that, most of your problems go away because as it starts to cure, it gets less sticky. And it's still pliable. If you leave it too long, it starts to get hard to work. Do you with, know what? Although you say that, find that I, sweet spot. You're laughing. With the fur, I didn't actually. It was pretty because it was all live. I think I sat it there. The for fur, a bit, the but, fur technique yeah. can work at any. Yeah, level. yeah, you can work you can it, stick straight it straight away, on and it goes straight away. Which is great for impatient people like me, and great for <laughs> if you're doing a live video because otherwise you're just sitting there watching well, green that's stuff. Why, that's why it's the one. <laughs> that's why it's that YouTube video I did that I was moderately proud of because it was just yeah. like, it, it's 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 easy. It's dead easy. Well, anyway, stop, stop stalling, green stop, stuff, stop, stop stalling, Dim. There's only one yeah, way nah, to go I'm going to roll the dice. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to roll the dice. Speaking and saving the best, <laughs> best till last. No, no one, we're really not. One to six, it's Dim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seven. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> How sad, never mind. End of video. <laughs> Bye. Let's watch it anyway. Hey, gang, so suppose it's my turn. Is that the same cover? <laughs> no. <laughs> um... <laughs> It was going well, <laughs> and then it didn't. Uh, I've still got something to show. Um, I definitely get my stuff more finished than Steve or ever does. Um, <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so, I, I, I can't, well, no. Nah. I can't even criticise him this time because I know he's finished his. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah, I, I was trotting along. I made the mistake, really, of, of having probably five good ideas, and I decided to do th three or four of them in tandem. And then it got towards uh, the deadline, uh, work picked up quite a bit, and on top of work, uh, which basically, I'm working night shift this week, so that just threw it off. Um, I'm using it as a convenient excuse for the fact that really what happened was, is that new awful piece of shit oh, thing that came out and me. destroyed anymore. Fuck me on the knees. Oh, 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 stay on target on him. Oh. Stay on target. Just not not feeling it. Not feeling the joy of it anymore. It, it's true though. Just, it did um, piss me off. For a while I thought I would try it. it well. In the limited amount of time I had since that model launched, I was thinking I would just try and make something that looked more like what I think it should look. And I think I might still do that as a video. Um, maybe. But not now. Not at the moment. Because I'm just I'm just not feeling it. And there's an awful you know, lot of at the end of the day, this on here. supposed to be a pleasurable. Where's the, Where's the miniature? Where's the fucking miniature? <laughs> what did you use to build it with? In many ways. I honestly What was the creative that, process? Um, Big Mac drop hit me worse than some of the really awful news that's happened in the last two years um in terms of real life stuff and bearing in mind i live in britain i think that says a lot uh it also says that i'm very sad and i know this but that's why i make 40k content on youtube when i could be doing anything else like having a good time um and so as a consequence uh i half finished this the build is mostly there. Um, I decided, and, and late 
towards the later stage that I couldn't stand to leave this model just on a 50 mil base. But what did I do? Um, so I've made a not Zod Grod. Um, I think I've mentioned it on stream a few times. I had a few other ideas. Uh, I won't get into those now. Um, and I hope to finish one of those. I had a lot of big ambitions and at the end of the day, no motivation. But the, the core build is finished, more or less. Um, I've got basing to do and then I can paint it. And uh, given that we're, we're trying to film it and we want to see everybody's work before filming, this'll do. And I'm just going to finish it, edit it very, very quickly and put it up there. And you can see this very short video, see what I got done, see what I had to say, and then move on to the stuff that's actually good. So thanks. Okay, so um, I decided to experiment with a new type of basing because basically when I actually use this most of the time I'm going to Is that one of Dred's buttery biscuit bases? <laughs> use it as a 40 mil. assume I can get the damn thing off without breaking it. I'll get the same trouble with my <laughs> Oreos to be fair like. <laughs> <laughs> hear the biscuit envy from here. There we go. So we place the base in like that. And then um, put that in like that. So all I need to do now is clean this up and it's good to be a basin medium and um, probably have to pin it or something but that's not going to get done in the time <laughs> I've got very little time left and I'm not particularly inspired uh, this time right so with the base um, sort of shown I thought I'd show you what I've what I've done um, so I've made a totally not sword grod so this is the reason why i've got a 52 mil base um as opposed to my 40 mil base which is preferable the thing to is because your miniature makes sense on that action. base in earlier editions of 40k than he is going to be played in any of the new editions that I good idea really to like. do the dual so, base though um, mm. i've made it so that i can make it legal for when i play the war bosses He's probably the only people I'll play 40k with, modern 40k with these days anyway, so. Um, but I like the concept. It, it's it borrowed very heavily from Forge World. Forge World used to do stuff like this. Is, this is the few, one of the few times they ever did anything genuinely good uh, was these uh, slip away display bases that they had, largely for the Horus Heresy stuff, which was so expensive. They needed something that level of clever. So. You know that came out all right i'm going to polish it up there's no way where's the miniature up. i'm just i'm just that's the clever bit that's the clever bit the miniature shit that's the clever bit okay just there's, there's just nothing um i was enthusiastic for a bit that new me big mech came out and i've just decided to take a bit of a break really from 40k because i just can't be bothered anymore so i'll just show you what i got done i'll tell you where i got the bits from and we can move on to the other people's entries that will be better. We've already done that. So, um, here are, uh, it started off life as some tracks. Sid had the brilliant idea to uh, angle the tracks thusly. On the so knowledge that's that, Sid, it's entirely his idea. Um, this is a, a, a kit, uh, particularly of, you know, the kind of stuff that I typically do, which is. Um, very much proving that I never, ever, ever buy a Death Dread kit to make a Death Dread. Uh, uh, so I've just used a load of Death Dread parts here. Uh, pretty sure these bits here, are, even from the Death Dread, are probably more likely the Killer Can, but I can't recall. Um, uh, that bit, I believe, is from a Death Dread. Uh, the front bit is almost certainly from the... I think that's Death Dread? I can't even remember. Oh, no, it's from the bike kit, isn't it? Um, I, I snapped the bit off because I was going to make it into something else and I just thought, you know what, screw it. 
Um, I'm just. I like it damage. The well a little bit of damage on the track. Yeah, yeah, it is. It was awesome. Um, I, I'm not sure where they're from. I think they're from Robotech stuff. I think. I like the cabling around his uh, these bits are off prod as well. Garage kit, which cool. is just Love brilliant. More people PSD. should buy it and yeah. use parts from it. Uh, right, okay, so the legs of the Grot are uh, Skaven Doomwheel legs with a little bit of green stuff just to make the middle bit because obviously it would straddle the centre of the, the Doomwheel. So I just covered it over and tried to hide the Skaveness, Skaveness as best I can. That's also a Doomwheel arm. Um, didn't really. Um, I filed off a bit of, the, or scraped off at least, a bit of the fur. Um, I'll probably go back with some green stuff at some point and cover it over, but um, the green stuff I have at the moment is terrible, so I'm not doing any um, any exacting detail like that. I did manage to do um, this green stuff tube, which um, uh, just used a, a green stuff roller, which you can get from lots of really cool hobby suppliers. Uh, the staff itself um it's just added to what where did i get the hand from i can't actually remember where i got the hand from i think it's an old uh goblin goblin staff hand because i've got loads of those from warhammer fantasy and now you can get them very easily obviously you'll all recognize this this is from the grot kit um and the i think the staff bit at the top i think is from an old sentinel to be honest i think that's where i got it from pretty good um, just was in my bits box so I used it uh, the main body is from Cromlech I believe I'm not entirely sure what kit I think I got it as a freebie um, and I'm pretty sure that is a Cromlech grot tank exhaust um, I never put them on the grot tanks themselves so I always use them for other creations the bit on the top is some zappy bits which I can't remember which kit I got it from but it might be the Cromlech grot tanks it might be the Forge World grot mega tank um, it's from one of those kind of grot tanky kits. Uh, once again, lots of Death Dread parts. Um, that thing that's from the Mech Gun kit. And I got to this stage and I was relatively happy. It's supposed to be a character that I created for my own Rebel Grot Codex that um, I made for like 4th edition era 40k. And then, you know, adapted it for a few editions until I got sick of the game. Um, called the Scrap Lord. Uh, I've mentioned it on stream before so I'm not going to go into it here but there we are um, so um, it will be finished probably for the war boss meet but um, I decided I just couldn't be bothered um, and I'm just going to leave it like that because uh, yeah I don't really yeah I wasn't feeling this one um, and also the, the the probably the main mistake that I made which I would advise you not to do is if you've got a deadline don't dis don't run with four ideas and you're not sure which one you're going to finish because what you end up doing is having Unless four you see. part finished yes yeah. because I could have I could have just <laughs> finished this guy off and I didn't and I could have finished Dim, this know guy your off. limits and I didn't <laughs> And I could have finished a Death right, Killer War which I started. Um, two actual Death Killer War tracks that I started. And I didn't finish either of them. So, you know, there's a lesson there somewhere. Anyway, I, ho I hope I hope you like it. I hope it came out okay for you. And I hope it gives you a couple of ideas. Um, that's all I ever hope for, really, when I do hobby stuff. Um, and I'm hoping to move back to doing more hobby content in the future. But, you know, we'll see. Might not be 40k related. Careful, you're going to break him. See us there. That um, he looks mint. He looks yeah, great conversion. Oh, I think he's got he's a great, great character to him. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. He looks superb. He's a great. Yeah. He's a great he looks, little yeah, evil and twisted. Yeah. Yeah. You you said uh, who said dialect? Dialect. That's, the, uh, that's what I saw. Oh, there is, there oh, is, there is really a bit of Davros. Yeah, There's a little there bit of Davros, Davros about there. him, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think I really like him. I, 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 I love that left arm on the gear stick. It yeah. looks like he's actually controlling it. There's a lot of the mm -hmm. times I've, I've probably done it myself. You just stick them in and go, yeah, 
he's, he's, he's doing it, yeah. There's a wheel yeah. or something, that's it. But the, Skaven the, stuff kit well. matches quite well with Grot stuff. Um, mm. I've used a lot of Skaven kits before uh, for Grot conversions, and often you don't even notice. It's dead easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll look I'm, into I'm very the delighted Skaven to see kits. a lot of the fantasy stuff come back. When, when you're Commodore using that sort of kit, though, does it, does it take you long to shave your rat? <laughs> it can do, depending on which one you use. Um, you just make sure not to add the tails on, because obviously you. you yeah, yeah. Ones. But um, with <clears throat> tails. Yeah. Well, the good news for you, Dim, <laughs> is that it's not a painting competition. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's a kit exactly. bash competition. Yeah. Exactly. So, remember, people, when you do cast your vote. Uh, uh, you know, um, don't get don't get swayed by a flashy uh, paint no, job. I think I think paint, <laughs> I think paint job can still weigh in. I think bottom line, yeah, I mean, yeah, out. and and slick editing as well. I was good. Um, I was just about to say paint definitely job. Definitely worth paint paint the Ignore the slick, slick editing. Paint. Fuck the slick <laughs> editing. Fuck all that. <laughs> I'm already minus ten. I'm already minus ten points from from the victory points of the game because it's something. Dred, Dredd was yelling that aloud as he edited it. His. <laughs> <laughs> and, and naming as well who named their miniature yeah I did as well I forgot to mention that yeah I yeah. forgot who mine was called the... well yeah I called mine the yeah. <laughs> sneaky Jeff <laughs> what's yours sneaky Jeff <laughs> damn you sneaky Jeff <laughs> oh no I did come up with a name uh, it was Ar Armless Harry wasn't he Armless Harry, Harry. <laughs> yeah because I broke his arm off a couple of times yeah <laughs> Mine was uh, Big Ye Big Mech Yamaha, or Yamawa. Yamawa, yeah, you did see yeah. you, you, you generally yeah. did name yours, yeah. I'm yeah big Mech yeah. Yamawa, yeah. yeah, yeah just, back back now. Now. Just, to, just to prove it, there we go. The Scrap Lord, Grand Dodger. Nice. nice. Look, at that, look at that profile that has really good statistics on it that aren't shit. Now, isn't that great? Mine's <laughs> called Guzgob. Guzgob. No. Um, yeah, well, I did that character a while back on some really old law videos that I did, um, and he was always I had in my mind that he'd always be a runt herd because they're the storytellers. Yeah. And uh, this head that Dredd gave me for him has got a massive gob on it. And he's got a great big fat lip and a big underbite. So I'm like, yeah, Gus Gold. Kind of I love that head. Him. That head. That they're they're awesome. really nice and they the spell crow yeah. stuff. It's yeah. proper Cheers, Dredd. Nice stuff. Yeah. Well, those heads yeah. actually, as it goes, that particular one. Is one that they used to give you as a sort of a freebie. I got it with freebies, you... yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you so you you do an order and you get one of those mm. as a freebie every time. Oh, you just cast any like... old shit off on me. I thought it was a thoughtful <laughs> gift that you went out of your way to purchase for me. Well, I only Steve, had two well, of them. You've got one of them, and I've got the other one. So I'm, I'm sure I've got a, a little a, a bar of all with five of them on. <laughs> no, probably. I, might have put a I might have put a large order in, I can't remember. But um, mm. so why you look what I've had them? I've, I've used them on various models, and that they are quite cool. Yeah, I think one I purchase, that's Christmas eight. sorted for the war bosses. <laughs> 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 one for you. <laughs> I've got some really shit ones with daft little helmets on. I'll bring them ones you can have them. Yeah, Dredd, you want to turn this uh, meet up into like a swap meet, didn't you? Is everyone bringing all the shit they don't want for themselves? <laughs> it's just because Dredd wants free shit. That's that's the bottom line. Oh, is that it? He just wants free shit, you know what I mean? Opening the boot of the car to reveal just a fuckload of pain boy sprues. Here you go. <laughs> what are you going, Chief? <laughs> I mean, oh, I see you bought the same as me, you bastard. Yeah. Oh, no, I, would, I wouldn't do that to you, mate. I've, I've got to put four sprues of the new boys, like, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, Dredd, Dredd, just, Are we just swapping over biscuits? <laughs> Basis. I'm, I'm bringing. I'm bringing the new big mech for Dim. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, it, I can see it. it so Actually, much. now I see it. It's... Merry Christmas, Dim. <laughs> Look what I brought you. Can't hate on it now. It's a present. Mm. <laughs> I'm fucking can. <laughs> you don't, well you do know me that well that's the problem i think but um <laughs> oh i i don't know i don't know why it's pissed him out i don't know why it's pissed him a conflict so much i can't tell you it just yeah, fucking makes me angry i don't know it's why it's more than anything else that's it's, happened in the world for the last few years uh, well yeah i don't know what uh, yeah it's fucking well i uh, slight comedic hyperbole I, I would say 
I'd, just a little one. So just yeah. a tad, yeah. I did yeah. performative a little bit, but like it did yeah. really, really annoy no, that's me. That's good. Back back pedal a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, who I didn't backpedal that much. It did <laughs> fucking piss me off quite a lot more than a lot of news. But I think that's just because I still give a shit about <laughs> You know what happens with orcs, whereas don't really give a shit what happens to the planet now. Fuck it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who, who, um, who thinks they've won? Not me. I've won only because. Dread, I've I thought your miniature. screen froze. I was waiting for your hand to shoot up. <laughs> only yeah. because I've made a miniature that I really wanted for my well, force. Well, that and we I tell you what, winners. I was about to say, well, I actually built a miniature, so that's yeah. like a definite yeah. win for me. Well, yeah. Remember, <laughs> people, if Dread doesn't win, we all win. Yeah, <laughs> is it? Be- I, was I, was saying, off, I was saying off camera, like that. These challenges, like, get me to do stuff that I've wanted to do for ages, and I haven't done. Mm. It just, it just gives you that little push to do that little bit more, doesn't it? Because I agree. It gets you a bunch of gits. Well, I've got, I've got a squig I mean? truck, like, and I've got a runt herd, and exactly. I've got a tub of quality street. I and besides, uh, <laughs> and besides, we all know, we all know that the dread's going to win because. All of all of our stuff was his idea anyway. So, oh no, um, yeah, well in that in that regard, yeah, I will have won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dread, dread, so dread always wins. Yeah, it'd be funny if he provided us all with the part we used. He said, "Oh, I win because it's my bit used on it." Yeah. <laughs> I think there was, yeah. I mean, I, I can claim to some extent some part in each build I, I would imagine <laughs> I, I mean to be honest I'm, I can't I'm remember my, but I must have on my, on my front I think Sid more than anything cause Sid, I was about Sid, to say I think Sid, Sid was the golden goose this time it. around you know yeah. what I mean yeah give me the idea for the tracks because standards I, I are dropping like dread well you know what I mean you need to be stealing some of Sid's ideas and claiming them as your own at this rate like you know oh dread probably told us he probably told us that like yeah. he's been Sid, trying to emulate Sid, me you got to take years. his cap oh, now like, you got to take his flat cap now. <laughs> I think I've got, I think I've got one. Stop the trying to be me, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I have to say, in, in, just for a serious moment, right, I love doing these things because, like, when yeah. I filmed that, yeah. which was literally an hour ago, well, two hours at this point, <laughs> fuck me, but, yeah. like, a, a two hours ago, I filmed that thinking fucking no fucking in, in no no desire to do anything 40k thing right i watch everybody else's things and i'm wanting to do 40k stuff again yeah ah, that's, it, that's right. what it's all about inspiration that's, isn't it yeah that's what it's all about is, you get to inspire me this is why i want to do this more this is why yeah, I want to yeah. look there's, there's, there's plenty of things direct, there's plenty of things around which are negative in the hobby that you might not you know want to do it might put you off and that's i like that hat for one yeah <laughs> Yeah, man, I've been watching. I've been watching the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> and I'll tell you why it's the best program on Netflix at the moment. It's fucking great. You know, I'll be watching. <laughs> Incidentally, if you've watched Peaky Blinders, you realise how good of an impression that is. Yeah, I was Arthur. <laughs> Yeah, half of the older yeah. brother. Yeah, I yeah, can't remember his name, but it's just like that's fucking bad. By order of the by order of the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> you know what? Mary, right. Where's my I'm son? Old Testament. <laughs> yeah, that's been I, was the... really, I was I was uh, still in Ireland when that came out. Um, it's like the I think like the, the last couple of years I was there. And uh, I never got to see it because like, I never had like the the subscriptions to those sort of channels or whatever. And I haven't had any of that since I come back. I've I've been aware of it because of you know net yeah. uh, the YouTube clips and stuff like that and memes and everything else. And but I haven't actually watched it, so Good. I don't I, know I've any of the characters. Yeah. Killian Murphy knocking it out of the park again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean he was yeah. fucking awesome in uh, that fucking zombie one back in the day. I fucking love that film. They, they, are, they are they the yeah. is that Peaky Blinders has been overused as memes for people to let out their passive aggressiveness on Facebook. Yeah. It's, uh, but, uh, Anyone wants to, you know, sort of, I don't know, make some kind of point about something and try and look hard doing it, they share a meme of a Peaky Blinder. <laughs> <laughs> but what I, what I was saying before cat. people started dissing me hat was, um, I mean, maybe dread costume, as I call it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a lot of negative stuff out there, but if you focus on the positives and stuff like this, I do think it's very much the positive side, just doing what you want to do and having fun doing it. Yeah. Definitely. That's why this we're all we're all winners. Yeah. We are indeed. We, we are. are. Indeed. 
And well, the and it doesn't matter which one of us or if any of us thought we've won or whatever, because it's for you guys at home to decide. So I'm take up the mental, I'm Steve. From now, yeah. the the vote will be up now, and the link to the forty k orc community is down in the description. Hit that, um, go on there, um, and cast your vote. We would do the vote on this channel, but it doesn't let you put six options in. Really which is annoying. It lets you put Ooh. five. Oh, um, oh, I'll just leave uh, mine off. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not winning anyway. I know I've had a few requests as well to put some sort of vote in the Discord. We could do that. Um, we could I definitely do that. Yeah, they might get du double votes. Oh, double votes. Oh, vote. yeah. Oh, I can't be having that now. Oh, mm. the controversy. We'd probably but... reach the largest audience in the 40k group, probably. If we did, if we yeah. did do, if we did do the Discord, though, I would at least see the results because I'm a fuck going. Well, you'll know the results in, we'll tell you. in a few weeks because we'll tell you. And then Damn, you won, you won. There, we're going to turn it around. Are we going to yeah. turn it around? Let's flip it around. So yes. you've, we've shown you ours. Yeah, now you show want to show us yours. yours. And what <laughs> we'll do? In a, yeah, we, in mean a few... a, we mean your cocks. <laughs> we mean yeah, lobs. Dim, so that. That. Cut dim, that. Cut all, that. All dick pics to dim, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, what, the yeah. get. Bombard them. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be, but you can do it, but they have to be hand delivered. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. That means a lot. I think that means Just a lot. Just slip of blood your on slimy polaroids through his letterbox, right? Uh, <laughs> that was a euphemism, as well. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, what was I saying? We weren't talking about round the back. He prefers it. <laughs> it, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't a euphemism. Mine's big enough for parcels. Let's face it. Um, <sighs> Um, yeah, so it's open to you guys now. We want you to kit bash your own <laughs> characters. It can be anything. You've seen us. What have we produced? We produced a uh, a Zod Grod Grot Boss. We've got yeah. a Runt Herd. We've got uh, a Knob with a Scorcher combi weapon. We've got a War Banner Knob. We've got uh, a Speed Boss. Um, and we've got a, a Big Mech on bike. Um, it can be anything. It can be anything you like, um, just as long as it's it's a character. Yeah. Um, so yeah, kit bash them up. Um, we'll make a post, uh, probably in the Discord and probably on the 40k community as well. Share your pictures in either of them, we'll get all them pictures together. And in a few weeks, uh, we'll hit you uh, back with another video showing what the community's done and seeing if yeah. they can better what we've done. And when we announce the I'm winner sure of will. this, and uh, yeah. There's um, so many awesome producers in that community. I'm sure really someone's oh, going to come up with something so really much is. better than we've done. This Do you is, know what I mean? There's some amazing creators first. out there. We need to have the vote first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not that the yeah. winner would be on here. <laughs> we've got ourselves <laughs> no, in, a, exactly. in a special category, you know? Yeah. We're in our own category. Like, you know, <laughs> special ed class for something, you know? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm a, Sid, and, Sid and Clint were cleaning up on the on the Discord when we were doing general challenges anyway so oh, I don't know I think yeah. there's some good ones out there it would be a bit yeah. like you know the fella who runs after you see in Bolt to give him his water bottle have a drink <laughs> 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 well, he's off <laughs> well hopefully Why we've inspired guys, inspired no. you guys at home though I'm sure hopefully we've inspired you and then you know and this is how it works isn't it we, we you know, inspire each other we inspire and each and other yeah, just, yeah always yeah. um so yeah and and all six of us have got something new out of it we've got something yeah. cool out of it and uh we or, will definitely or, or do or more two of things, these challenges or two things or, or, yeah. or three yeah. <laughs> i didn't get the, the i've got finish four and finished things <laughs> yay i've got, oh, got tons of that i've, I've been know. working on this i've been working on this bad boy as well my my boom decker snaz yeah, wagon now that bad. right that gw is how you do tactical terrain look at that that's dynamic. It's not shit. It's not a good excuse to put a fucking major on a larger base than it needs. Right, okay, look cut, at it. cut, Is cut. Cinematic. They were to tell I don't think GW Ran was. over. No. <laughs> but if they I do... Mean, they might. <laughs> yeah, they might do. If they do, they might learn something. Like how to do fur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair point, fair point. I'm not wrong. <laughs> fair point. Fair point, yes. Fair point, yeah. Fair point, yes. <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah, thanks to you, you oh. bunch of gits for getting us to do something interesting. Because yeah, 
I wouldn't have the motivation to get something done if it weren't for these little challenges. And it's, yeah, so, it really spurs me on. Well, I mean, we couldn't, I don't suppose, I mean, I'll run it, I don't know whether we could, but we could maybe squeeze another one in before the meet. Could okay. we or not? <laughs> no? <laughs> what about Storm Boys? Let's do Storm Boys on flight. Oh, yeah. Let's do that, yeah. <laughs> a Defcopter challenge, a Defcopter challenge, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, on. yeah. What what should we do next as a challenge? I mean, Steve almost dipped out, but what should we do as a challenge? Ooh. Well, I just thought maybe All we should just us. finish something. There's something that we need to finish for the for the for the meet. I mean, like if there's something terrain. we need to for the meet. Terrain. But at the same here, I need to do terrain. Um, I've got to finish the Yeah, terrain. I've got to finish a big. I've got a, I've got a massive epic project on the go. For the yeah, meet. I've got like five weeks to get it fucking sorted and i've yes. got some cardboard tubes at the moment so uh we're, right, well, we won't make we're on the way anything like that but we'll all make uh our uh you know con our, well at least you me and steve oh, are doing... hang on hang on a minute there's six of us yes well there's not as five well there's five of us currently so what the other three could do hmm. well not because we just think i mean granted um, we're we're doing we're not doing a mega battle this time, but I just thought like we'd each well, we do might be, ob- mightn't we? But we could each do an objective each because we could get that done in the time. Oh yeah, you can do that one. An objective doing, marker, six yeah, objective, objective markers. Marker. That's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah. that's do a really on a 40, nice idea. 40, 40 mil base, just make an objective. That, that, that fits is the with only you, good idea I've you. ever had. Well done. <laughs> That's that's actually well, a really nice idea. Didn't we have to make a set of? Yeah, to be fair. Didn't we that's have to a make a set idea. of three of them each? So there's like six for each table. Typical dread. It's like let, let's escalate this idea to no, ridiculous lengths. <laughs> it's not though, because we're going to need forty like... mil bases, three three objectives each. Yeah, forty mil bases, three. Yeah, yeah. 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 I right. can do that. Yeah. Any, anyone else up for that? Done. Yeah. yeah. Fuck fine, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Done. Yeah. Nice. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll let Steve oh, I'm yeah. so glad Steve I wasn't around to stick his fucking oar in. <laughs> Scar looks Scar looks You in, can fuck right off if you can do anything else. <laughs> Sid, you got Sid, you gotta do six, yeah? Six. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't have to. He just will. <laughs> well, do you know what I was thinking? I'll do six. And then I can use the six, but I'll bring three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was <laughs> I don't know how many you need. Is it still six? Yeah, I think that's max. Mo- yeah, on our, our size games, it'll only be five, four, like, wouldn't it? Possibly four, it'll be yeah. four for our games. I think. Yeah, because probably. I've made them before. Like I've got, I've got six for my Gene Stealer cult. I haven't used Gene Stealer cult in a long time, but it's just like basically six Gene Stealers, mostly from the the Space Hulk set, just stuck onto bases, doing very unfortunate things to some very very unsuspecting guard. Uh, that well, if, we, if we did if we did two each that'd be enough wouldn't it for four objectives in each battle well it would yeah yeah i don't know how many yeah. we just need four yeah i think it's four for the size battles mm-hmm. we're playing because we're only well, doing thousand points and we we'll, so we'll just, yeah. say, we'll just say two in the middle and, and two, uh, one in the, the yeah two in the middle and one in the home field yeah. each yeah mm. diamond pattern Nice. Yeah. I'm actually quite excited. Yeah, that'd be that'd be quite a nice little challenge, wouldn't it? Just oh, as a... <laughs> Scar's like, <laughs> he's giving you the death stare now, Jim. <laughs> <It's>, he <laughs> ain't happy. Yes, bastards. The glare oh, is not from Jesus. his head. That's no. from his oh, eyes. No, 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 don't even have... go, go, go away the fork. He's got <laughs> some proper, proper oh. mood lighting going on as well, hasn't he? I've never seen you looking so general, Zod. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. <laughs> so how's the how's the force coming, Scar? Slowly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How's how's the calendar looking? Is it on red yet? I think we're still just in orange. We're not quite yeah. in the red zone. We're getting there, though. You can do this. I've got a def copter you can borrow if you want one. Well, uh, well sorry uh, if I has a a Chinor copter, I might be able to borrow just in case. I'll bring mine just two of them to build. But um, like the knob. Like he'll be part of the knob squad. I'll bring the wild banner knob as well. I've not I've enough knobs knocking around to cobble together knob units. Yeah. 
one or two. I just need to sit down and try and figure out the lists again. And then when's the codex coming out as well? So it's like, you know, yeah, probably a, a week before we start. Yeah, definitely probably. want to do a Legends <laughs> unit challenge. I think we're, I think we're already plotting that, aren't we? A legends, yes. That I actually, yeah. we should, we should do, we should do a legends episode where we talk about the legends units we like. Yeah, and then at the end of it, announce legends challenge and do it. But yeah, we might have to wait until after we've done the meet because we've got a lot on. But yeah, we've got a lot on before end. Yeah, cool. Because we'll be able to record uh, reactions to the codex and stuff together. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll just tie in. While we're away, no, yeah. that'd be good. Really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm opting out of that fucking episode. I just don't want to be there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm that's fine. Oh, there'll be slow, <laughs> Jane. All right, Dim, you'll be so fucking perplexed you won't know what the fuck. Ah, okay. I love the cover. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I probably won't even like that, but I, I, <laughs> just that was we're gonna get that you so fucking problem. jarred. That, you'll love everything. All right, the, yeah, that, yeah, you will. The, the, that, that was the thing though that slightly brought my piss about. I mean, granted, like I'm, I'm perfectly fine with people being pissed off that was being a negative Nancy in the, on the live stream, and I definitely was a cock end because I got drunk, but. Right, I will say, was largely positive about the, the beast snaggers. So it's kind of fucking yeah. obvious that I'm not anti everything new, right? It's on fucking documentation. You can go and watch the fucking videos. We still got them. Da, 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 Jesus. Right? The suffer trail once, not again. What you fuck up? So just <laughs> slight rant there. But yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, I'm not a, this is a surprise. I'm not the world's biggest fan of vegetables. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'll eat them. I like some of them. But he loves a I big fucking nice. marrow. But if I see somebody <laughs> eating a carrot, I'll cut their fucking throat. It's a massive <laughs> negative reaction, over-the-top negative reaction for certain things. <laughs> Give him a frozen fucking cucumber. Now he's yeah, all over I, it. Have, oh, you, have, have you ever spent? Out. Have you ever? Have you ever spent in excess of probably ten grand on carrots? Carrots or, or yeah, carrots. I have. I definitely have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking chefs. Because yeah. I, I mean, spent, if, I probably have... spent ten grand last year on carrots. this week. Yeah, but if you have, yeah. you can. Like... And I fucking peeled them. You can. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we got that action like, down to the fucking the fine art, haven't you? That's the equivalent for me. It's just like it's Engine. the asking price that that bothers me because I know how much that fucking mess is going to cost, and it's just like how much do you reckon it'll cost? I think it's going to be nearly forty quid. Do you reckon? To be honest, I yeah, thirty two, thirty two fifty. I reckon. And I'll, I'll like, assume thirty, thirty two. I tell you what, I did see mine, which really and I, I'm the price is important. I went to the. The model shop down there, Chester, Chester Moore the other day, mm -hmm. uh, just to get some plastic rods and whatnot. And uh, some twigs. And, some and obviously I had a stock up on uh, combat twigs. Um, yeah. and, <laughs> and I was looking through the little, you know, the little boxes, the character boxes. And yeah. Like mm -hmm. 20, 25 quid, 27.50 and what have you for all, you know, war boss and mega armor and, you know, all the quite, quite large chunky models. And then there yeah. was the Dropmas Gits model. It's fucking that big. 25 quid. And I was like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. It was next to a box of Grox for 12.50 with like 11 models in. And he was no bigger than any of the old Grox. He's got a few things on his base, yeah. Not much though. Not yeah. not not that much for twice the price. And if you do not if you do not care. Eleven for the not, models. If you do not care. Parents for models the Christmas have always been theme. overpriced. Yeah. But if you do not care for the Christmas theme, and that model's not used to, not useful to you at all. Yeah, no. Nah, but they've given it a fucking profile. I need to stop the bargain. Right, then we need to go to bed at a reasonable hour tonight. I'll talk to um, you. No, you've got to stay up. We, 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 Scott. we need to do a sign off. Okay. Have we done a sign off yet? We have. I don't think we have. Where's, where's know, Steve Ogun? Steve disappeared. He said, "Can we do the sign off for him?" So if we do that quickly, okay. then if yeah. people want to disappear, they can. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. So, now, yeah, so uh, Steve O disappeared because you know, internet and he, he needed to go early anyway, didn't he? So, um, it's bye from Dim. Not set from Dread. See you later, have to get. Don't forget to drill your barrels, boy. Catch you on the next one.
Eiginha. volume Sid Sid can you hear something only Sid can hear the video Sid everyone get in there Sid like, Sid, Sid Sid there you go I think he's got it is he good yeah he's got it <laughs> you can't hear it no yeah, I think only you can hear it mate yeah it was fucking loud <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what I think I'm just going to leave the camera over here that was way easier yeah, I could yeah. actually see who was talking. Well, we've only been saying it for a year and a half. Yeah. This is going to be great in another 10 years' time. Fucking hell. 10 years. Right. Jesus I'll probably be fucking dead, mate. <laughs> like, watch my oh, new, oh, new you've, got an, you've got a nicely converted miniature. When the foot's yeah. on the other shoe or whatever, the shoe's on the other foot, oh, fucking. <laughs> Oh, oh, I didn't mention Dred's cracking phrase of a, uh, what was it? Always promise more than you can chew. <laughs> 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 I was going to mention it. 